Tiffany and Felicia, I'm here on the National Mall with the U.S. Capitol behind me. Tomorrow, this mall will be filled with perhaps a million or more people to watch the swearing in of the 45th president, Donald Trump. Again, when Mr. Trump takes the oath of office, it will mark a sea change in U.S. politics and the beginning of changes in U.S. policy. That's one side of this. Another side of this is that those who support Trump and those who oppose him will all be here together to watch this historic day in America. And no matter what side you're on, they will be witnessing a day never to be forgotten in American history. Young voices raised in beautiful harmony at the foot of the Lincoln Memorial to celebrate a new president and a new era for America. Fittingly, the singers come from Donald Trump's second home, Palm Beach County. The King's Academy High School Chorus received the rare honor. Well, I think when we got invited, we didn't really believe the invitation. Uh, it, was, it was such a big, big honor to be picked. But uh, as it wore on, kids were very excited around our school. and just could not wait to get up here. There is joy in the faces here. Against heavy odds, controversy, and the popular vote totals, Donald Trump takes over America with his own unique agenda for change. And many here can't wait, like Ray Reynolds of Virginia, who told me he's followed the president-elect on the campaign trail, snapping photos. We finally got a true American in the White House. We got somebody cares about America. So we didn't have a true American in the White House before? Well, look at the policies, you tell me. But the Trump victory brings no joy to Dolores and Miguel Robles, who came from Albuquerque, but will stay away from D.C. Friday, preparing for Saturday's Women's March on Washington. I want the new administration to know that we as women, women of color and people of color in general, are not going back to the 40s and 50s when we had no access to opportunities. I don't believe, believe he's our, our legitimate president. The Thursday crowds will be dwarfed by turnout on the National Mall and those lining Pennsylvania Avenue Friday afternoon, as those watching with happiness will be joined by those who oppose Trump. But all will witness a moment never to be forgotten. And that moment, of course, the 58th inauguration of a president in the history of our great nation. Again, take a look at the National Mall tonight and imagine the sea of people you will see tomorrow, many of whom may have to battle the rain, strong chance for rain uh, throughout the morning into the afternoon. The parade follows uh, the oath of office down Pennsylvania Avenue, and then Donald Trump says he will get right to work in the Oval Office. Tonight, there's a cause for celebration among Trump supporters. And again, this mall will see two big crowds tomorrow and Saturday for the Women's uh, March on Washington. There there could be many, many people attending that as well. It remains to be seen what those numbers will be, but it is quite a week and quite a night to be here. I'm Todd McDermott, live in Washington, D.C. I'll see you again for our Chronicle special tonight at 9, as well as 11 o'clock, and of course, all day tomorrow for the inauguration of the 45th president. Felicia and Tiffany, all back right, to you. Todd.